Hey everybody, Bryce here, uh, Fifth Family Garden. Um, so I was scrolling through uh, videos of other people who garden and everything else that I follow and uh, came across a really interesting one. Uh, it's a tag video. Um, and the tagline in this one is, three things I learned in the 2019 growing season. Uh, saw it over there at uh, Home in the Sticks with Dan. Dan, like your videos. Uh, wish I could have some of that, that weather that you have throughout the whole year, but you know, we, we get some cold up here in North Carolina. Uh, yeah, my boy's out there, he's running around in the truck. All right, drive it around, buddy. Get all over the place. That's one thing you definitely got to learn is have fun with your kids. Say hi. hi. <laughs> all right, so uh, three things I learned this gardening season. Um, it's really good video because kind of lets everybody get out there and say what they've learned this year, what they might change for next year. And I would definitely say the number one thing that I learned this year would have to be weed, weed, weed. I put down a lot of mulch throughout this garden and I didn't stay on top of this uh, Bermuda grass weed that uh, grows throughout my, my regular yard. And it has just exploded, especially with all the rain we've had here recently uh, throughout my garden. Um, not right now, buddy, we're not harvesting, okay? <laughs> he loves to get out here and harvest. But, um, so like I was saying, you know, if you don't stay on top of it, you get this kind of a problem. And, uh, Fortunate, unfortunate for me, um, this may be my last uh, season in this garden. Uh, we are getting ready to put the house on the market. So fortunately uh, for me, when I get to where I'm going next, uh, I'll be able to start over, take some things I learned, put down some contracting paper, a couple layers of that, a uh, good layer amount of mulch, you know, mow everything down really low and then build on top of that. Hopefully uh, fight back weeds like I got going right now. Uh, maybe put some of the bird feeders on the outside so they don't drop seeds and stuff doesn't grow from that. But uh, definitely stay on top of the weeds. It's, uh, I got a 48 foot by 72 foot area. And uh, if you don't stay on top of it, it becomes too much of a handful for just one person to stay on top of. So that's number one. Uh, second thing that I learned would be limit the amount of volunteer plants that you allow to grow. This bed right here, all them pepper plants are all volunteers. I didn't plant a single one of those. Uh, and looking back on it, I probably wouldn't have planted all of those. Not to mention this red Malbar spinach that's taking over this whole half of the trellis, as well as this trellis back here. I didn't plant that either. So limit the amount of volunteer stuff that you allow to grow unless you really know what it is and it's what you really want so for me a lot of these peppers i don't even know what a lot of these peppers are y'all can see that if you can tell me what that is that'd be great that one there i don't know what that is some of these are hot some of these are not you know but i got all sorts of them i got about 15 plants over here that took up half of a four foot, actually three quarters of a four foot by eight foot bed. And I uh, definitely could have put other stuff in there that I knew what it was and knew it's what I wanted and everything else. So uh, number two, if you don't know what it is and it's a volunteer plant, limit what it is and, and how much space it eats up in your garden. So that way you can grow the stuff that you really want to grow. And number three, huh? For me, number three would be continue use, uh, using something new. Um, I uh, try to vary what I grow a little bit. Um, some of the stuff that I grow is the same um, every year. You know, squash, zucchini, tomatoes, uh, peppers, uh, kale, spinach, you know, the, all the basic stuff. Um, but this year I had this bag mamma jamma eggplant plant one plant 
I bought it. Uh, I didn't grow it from seed. It was like one of the only, uh, one of only a couple plants that I didn't grow from seed. And I've been pulling eggplants bigger than this off of it all season long. So uh, we've had to get inventive on how we're doing with eggplants and everything else. But um, we've definitely had a lot of eggplant. We've had to give some of it away. We've had to <laughs> freeze a lot of it and everything else. But, uh, you know, you, you never know what's going to do really good for you in a year. So you got to you still got to try new stuff. So if that means taking half of a bed, if you got nothing but four foot by eight foot beds or nothing but four foot by 12 foot beds or large beds, just take a portion of it. Take a four foot by four foot portion of it and use that. Um, but, you know, always try something new. Uh, try different varieties of the stuff you like. Uh, but you'll never know if you like something unless you try it. And coming out of the garden, it always tastes better. So those are my three things. Uh, the only other thing I toss out there as a bonus is, uh, you know, I, I don't even know if I toss it out as a bonus. Um, it would be to be willing to take the chances on what you grow and the area that you grow it in, but also be very cognitive on the space that you give stuff. Uh, I, I try to do high intensity gardening and it's with some things it just doesn't work. When you plant a lot of squash and zucchini in one space, all you're doing is inviting the, the squash bugs to that one space. Um, maybe spread stuff out. Maybe, you know, try to try to give it more space. Don't just plant everything right on top of each other. So that's my bonus. So I guess this is four things instead of three. But you got to learn, you got to move on, you got to keep going. So uh, once again, Dan, home on the sticks. That's my three things. Thanks for your three things. I keep watching you, everybody else, you know, hit the like, hit the subscribe. And if you're a gardener, you're following this page, do a video. Tell us the three things you learned in 2019. We'll see you later.